extremely fragrant. But it's Last week, we snip clipped and cut spring perennials long past their prime in Danny Hills, Southeast Portland Garden. Thank you for a wonderful spring. This maintenance is the only way to keep the garden in balance, so your tall plants don't overshadow your billowing bloomers. I'm learning as time goes by that the, that the tall and spiky end up being the bone structure for your big and floppy. <sighs> now it's time for the details. Nothing makes a bigger Wouldn't impact nice. than edging. I like to keep my paths open so people can actually walk and look without paying attention to where they're going and what's hooking in their hair and poking them in the eye and stuff. Makes gardening more fun. I prefer the weed eater route, but Danny's more down to earth. And I refuse to use a weed whacker because, well, they're just so noisy. Both methods get results. Cutting back roses is intimidating to many of us. On repeat bloomers, you'll get more flowers all summer if you snip off the old blooms. For roses that only bloom once or twice a year, just shape and water them. Soil's all this really cleanup means there will be obvious holes in the flowers. landscape. Here's your excuse to extend the bloom cycle by adding more perennials that bloom later. Or you can cover your tracks with compost. The most important thing once you've done all that work is to put some mulch on the garden. Holds the weeds down and the moisture in. In about an hour's time, we've shaped up a garden that looked like this and whipped it into shape in no time. So get out and get gardening. Ann Jagger, Coin 6 News.